Haley, Holly, Haley Bailey, and uh, DDG um, broke up. So let me add a little bit more context to this. Because uh, I know yeah, that it probably has to be yeah, brought up. by Instagram. Quentin got to be brought up to speak <sighs> usually because Quentin don't know nothing about black people, uh, like he says. Yeah, he knows all the black people on Pop the Bloom. Go ahead. <laughs> so uh, they announced the split. Um, she's the woman from, you know, the Black Little Mermaid and several other things, and she's a singer and stuff like that. Uh, DDG <laughs> is one of the biggest or a bigger... Not the biggest, but he's a pretty huge um, YouTube star and social media star. Um, he's from Pontiac. He used to be called Pontiac DDG, but he's just DDG, DDG now. Um, but they announced a split. Says that um, they announced it on social media in a statement shared to his Instagram story on Thursday, uh, October twenty, October 3rd. Him, who's 26 and they got a kid together, said, Dear friends and supporters, after much reflection and a heartfelt, heartfelt conversations, Haley and I have decided to go our separate ways. The decision was not easy. We believe it's the best way forward for both of us. I cherish the time we spent together and the love we shared. Despite the changes in our relationship, our love for each other remains deep and true. We still best friends and adore each other. Um, <clears throat> so that's largely what he said as far as his statement. Um... Yeah, that's pretty much a statement. Now, um, I did see something else from Tasha. I guess it was shown on Tasha K's stuff. And so it was something that was shown on his story, apparently, to his friends or the close people, the people that was closest to him. And this is what it said. Let me see if I can share that really quickly with y'all. Um... Uh, it said, I'm a grown man. I can make my own decisions. We chose to split because of personal reasons. Nah, it's not a skit. I'm not hurt, and I'm not missing out on anything. And her head game is trash as fuck. What? As oh. long as I got my son, I'm good. So I don't know how accurate this is. I don't know how true this is, but this is what was shown. Um, you, it be pretty bitches who head game suck, nigga. <laughs> I... I want to get your thoughts on it before I get my thoughts on that. What do y'all think? About that? Hair should be reserved for females with weak pussy. First of all, like, yeah, what? Yeah, no, like, I'm I'm sorry if your box weak, then your head should be up to date. But like, you gotta have it all. I think that. First of all, I, I believe that if if you okay, let me stop it like this. Number one, I think that that's some wild shit. That's some raggedy shit to say, because it, 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 number one, it, it, it can't be true because you had a whole kid with her and you was with her for years. That's number one. All right. So that's some shit to say. Number two, that's the equivalent of a chick man with a dude and then saying, "But it's dick little." Like, mm hmm. No, you listen, you was rocking, you was loving him, and now all of a sudden you want to throw him under the mm -hmm. That's number two. Yep. Number three, you don't talk about what your sexual relationship was like at with your with your ex. Like you just like you don't throw no money under the bus, especially somebody that you got kids with. That's it's just childish and it's immature. And then my last point with this is I believe that if her head is trash, that's a reflection of you. Yeah, for not getting up to Paul. You can get you can get her up to par all day long, bro. And so if you tell her exactly that, what to do. Yep. And if you saying that, I think that that's I just think that that's some I don't come on man. I just think he being bitter. He being he being petty for no reason. I don't know. I, I feel like dudes, they got a a lot of relationships in after a woman had a baby because of uh postpartum. And that's because dudes don't recognize what the woman be going through. So I, I feel like that this is that a lot of dudes know, like it take a female legit a year and a half to really shake back. It and could, be. Why, it could absolutely. Be. Well, you know, you know, she said that she was a virgin before she met him, and I. Oh, well, then that's even I, that's even crazier for him to say some shit like that, then. So right, that that was that was going to be my first point. So she's a virgin, and she's not like you know the them half virgins, you know them. 
Them burgers. Oh, you gotta, you gotta then, keep her. You gotta keep her, bro. You can't let that. Then one. you don't. Then you don't. Then you don't know really what you're doing because this is your first time, like doing all of this stuff. So that's one thing. And then the second thing is, I think, I, I, I never, I never think young guys this day and age are like that into being with one woman, especially one that's famous already and then two he's been you know he's been talking about the type of girls that he likes and it's not anybody that looks anything like her or or has her you know disposition she's very nice she's very sweet you gotta keep her he like, gotta keep her that's not that's not a chick that you just break up with and you leave alone He's yeah, but I'm telling you, virgin I'm never, and she his I'm baby mama think like this uh, if she if he found a virgin and she is baby mama, and, and you talking recklessly about about her like that? That's that's a you problem. I you See, know I'm the chief holder of of equal yeah. accountability partner. I have no problem calling women out all day long, but that in this instance, because it's a case by case situation, I think that he trash for that. You can't you can't trash even if you break even if y'all break up for whatever reason, amicable split or whatever. You don't talk trash about your baby mama like that, and she ain't even saying no shit about you. I told you this yesterday, Anton, that the dudes be doing this. I said that they be talking for no reason. I said this yesterday. Just talking. Hey, but you know, like, maybe, maybe he want to slut. You know what I'm saying? Like, a man, a man with that much money. Who's his ex? Yo, yo, oh, come on. Bird, dog, you got to keep a chick like that, bro. Listen, if you ever want to get to legendary status and this is the honest to god truth if you want to get the legendary status and you get you a chick like the Haley bailey chick you gotta you gotta keep that you gotta hold on to that one bro you're not you're not, you're not really gonna get no better than that to be honest with you y'all dudes don't like nice guy uh nice girls though oh uh, i can like, see her just like i can see just like girls don't like nice guys i can see her being extremely boring though like so I, 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 I want a chick that's I want a yo, why nigga like a young cat like that. But she is. Well, then right. he shouldn't. He shouldn't. Have, no, 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 dog, no. Listen, a lot, of times, a lot of times, a lot of times, a lot of times, I hold girl, I hold women accountable for a lot of the dumb shit and all of that. But first of all, he being a chatty patty, so I know it's a him problem. The niggas on social media saying shit, and she, yes. didn't, she not saying nothing. She just sand in her lane, whatever. Come on, man. How many of us? How many of us guys want a chick that want to be home instead of being out in the streets? But don't, they, but they, they, don't they, nigga want his wife they, out there in the streets like that? But Anton, well, man, that's what y'all say, and that's why a lot of girls are confused because y'all do say that, but then you go and chase Ruby Rose. So that's why a lot of nobody chases Ruby Rose. But Not no real ones. But a lot of the girls that are nice end up end up thinking they need to be hoes or that hoes are winning because all the hoes are getting chased after, right? And getting treated right. He's not on he's never talked he's never talked bad about Ruby Rose. Listen, but you he, can you can find a Ruby Rose. Her. I'm a dozen. You're not finding right, what I'm baby. saying is he's talking about Holly, who's a nice girl, and he don't say nothing bad about Ruby Rose. He's even cheated on her. With Ruby Rose, and Anton, got let's, Anton, let's give him some grace. No, I uh, no 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 no. I'm definitely because at that young age, you looking for fucking excitement, dog. You looking for threesomes. You looking for chicks no, you're on not. Your no, that's yes, not what most niggas. Is, that's most niggas. First of all, DDG didn't been famous and had money for a long time, so he should. But he shouldn't have got that out of his system at this point. No, this is this is not this is not a nigga that's new to money. He's not new to fame. He's not new to nothing. Right? Got to run his course, though, bro. No, it doesn't. You grow out of that. And then a lot of niggas don't look at it like you, Anton. Like a niggas when a nigga get millions, he not doing it to be average. He don't want to have one girlfriend forever, like an average nigga. Like that's that that defeat the purpose of being popping. No, it don't. You're not getting popping for hoes. You're getting popping for you. You getting popping so you can get the accolade. <laughs> no, you don't. That's no, no. Listen, man. If I could trade this fame shit in, if I could trade the visibility in and just had the money, I would. I don't need the visibility. <clears throat> I'm not tripping. I know that the visibility come with it. Like you gotta have the visibility 
now especially in the social media area in order to get money i'm i don't need that bro i i i could duck off do my own thing move move like i don't care about the visit fuck the bitten pop i don't care about popping Listen, I just want the money. I just want the money. Fuck the pop. But if you had what you got now, right at twenty five, mm-hmm. would it be a difference? No. Yeah, for a lot of dudes, it would. No, it wouldn't. Yeah, that's what I was about to say that I was. I was just about to say that's okay. For a lot Come of guys, on. it will be. That's why they don't deserve. That's why they can't get the money because the money is going to turn them into monsters, and they can't handle the power that comes with that type of money. And that's what I'm saying. Niggas need to work on character. People need to work on character um, just just as much, if not more, than they work on trying to get to the money. Because all you're going to do is fuck it off and, and, and mess up, bro. Listen, man. To be, You know what my favorite thing to do in a day? is to take a nap. I love naps. That's some old nigga shit, Anton. Call it what you want, nigga. It's just, it, I listen. Know, I, 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 I'm just saying, I'm with you. I got a, I got a two to three o'clock nap myself. But, <laughs> but nah. as, a young, as a young G, if I had millions, if I had M's, I'm trying to live, bro. Because you ain't get to how you got into without experience. It took experience. To M's. Young hey, dude, this, this, see, this is this the problem. This is the problem, man. This is the problem with the whole dating scene. And this is, and that's why people who marry just stay married. Just mm-hmm. endure what you gotta endure. Like, do not get out here. This is the problem with the dating scene. Too many people get good folks and they mess over them and they turn them into animals. Yep. They right. turn them into animals. Four yep. years later, she's gonna, be, she's gonna be a wild banshee. She, she's not gonna have respect for men. So slim. This the keep, problem is, if this shit keep happening, you know what I'm saying? Slim. She's a she's a good girl. Nine times out of ten, she's a good girl. Yep. But I but I go, will say this to you, She keep getting fucked over. She keep getting fucked over. She's not gonna be a good girl no more. Yep. I will say this to you, Slimmy, though. She is a good girl, but on the flip side though as a woman i keep saying you know the guys not to get with if you look at that man's track record who he's been with what he does how he moves you knew not to give it to that boy no way now listen you know, wait, wait, wait wait see now now this is the thing he's still young i'm talking about her he might she might not feel like he's showing his representative he she might have felt like okay maybe he's sincere maybe he's genuine the impression that he's given off throughout this whole time is that i'm maturing i don't do the same shit i do no more i'm calm down no. i want to have a family i want to do this that is the impression that he is given um yeah he I played all time with him and, and i don't know what he does on his spare time and it's- just from what I can see, he never looked like that to me. And and me and my friends was in the chat, and it was like, you was right. Because I kept saying when she got with him, I was like, I don't think that's a good move at all. Listen, we just listen, Slim and Anton. We just speaking from it as older statesmen who know what this brings. He mm-hmm. still don't know what, what's going to happen at the end of this road. He don't no, know the whole I'm, that's, it, that's why you wrong. I'm not I'm not speaking about it from that perspective. I'm speaking about it from the perspective of a person that actually did and at 20 I got married at 22 I had my kid at 26. He 26. This is when he got his kid. At that point when I had my daughter <clears throat> I said, "All right, enough of the bullshit." When I when I got married, that was a time for me to party. Like it was like, "All right, we about to take these flights, have fun, trips and all of that stuff." When I had a child, that's when I was like, all right, I got to put away. And, and you know what I'm saying? It was time to have fun. But then when I had a kid, <clears throat> that's when I said, all right, it's time to put away the, the, the fun stuff. And it's grind time. Because the minute, that I, the minute that I had my daughter, when I was holding her in the hospital, I looked her in her face. I looked her in her face. I was the first person to hold her after the, the nurse and the doctor pulled her off. <clears throat> and I promised her that she was never going to experience the life that a lot of these other kids experience as far as a broken home a broken home or you know not being able to go to college because you had to take out student loans 
or be having to work a work a job as a child instead of being able to enjoy her childhood. So my motivation, my entire dedication as a man once I had a child was it ain't about me no more. It was never once I had a kid, it never was about me anymore. I threw away everything that I felt like and I always put her on the front at the front forefront. And I and I and, and it's so funny because literally before this live stream started, me and her, we went on a on a ride because she came in from Taekwondo. And this is the honest to God on, on everything truth. She came in from Taekwondo and she was like, Dad. And so she started telling me about what was going on in her life and stuff like that. And she was like, y'all want to practice, but my foot is sore. And so she was starting to feel a little sad. And so I said, come on. And so we went out to the garage. We jumped in the, in the 911. And we went to the gas station and we just having fun and she just forgot all about it. She like, Dad, you're so sweet. And so it's it's an that's the reward. The the reverence that she has for me and the love that we have and the fact that we have this tight bond in this relationship. And she looks at me and she said I was her hero. And I look at her and I'm like, Oh, you are the best kid ever. Fuck that life, fuck that party shit, bro. You got the rest of your life to party. I want her to be able to enjoy her childhood. I want her to not have a broken home. And so my my mentality has always been down with Anton, up with Leslie, up with Rita, up with my mother, up with everybody else. I'm a I'm I got I'm a get mines. At the end, that's when I'm gonna build my house. That's when I'm gonna move downtown. That's when I that's why I just so happen to start spending money and moving downtown and stuff is because I focus on everybody else first. I didn't buy myself the cars that I wanted until after I got my daughter the car, until after I got my chick the car and stuff like that. So I don't understand these young niggas because I don't care if you're 22, 24, 26, 32, 42, whatever it is. I put that shit aside because they meant more to me than I meant to me. Because if I did it for me, then I would be out here partying with these hoes. But I, I matured because I did it <laughs> else you know what i'm saying so hey, that's what you're saying anton kids once you have kids you got because they didn't ask to be here you got to put that shit away bro that but you just said something important anton you just said you cared about them these dudes do not care they don't care then you can't have kids man not listen, most of right, right, the right, kids right. they don't care the women too okay. we talked about that before because y'all got to mess up because a lot of these women live their best life too while they had their children. I and they and they kids suffer from it. So you can't say what? that a nigga. What you what but you say? Huh? They're both they're both wrong. That's I, what I just said the answer. Don't say that they don't care for their kids because they still out here living. That, no, that's you can't, no, 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 no. You can't no, possibly no. two care. You can't possibly care for your kids. And this is from a woman. Uh, I'm saying from a woman. I don't know about a man, but you to me, you can't possibly care about your kids if you keep saying, oh, "Okay, well, uh, I'm just not." I'm just not happy, so um, I'm gonna go find my happiness. It doesn't matter that my child wants to be around the dad, he's begging me to be around the dad. It doesn't matter that my, my kid's gonna have to struggle be, and my kid's gonna have to go live in two houses, go back and forth, meet new people, do this. You can't possibly care. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna say y'all let me go. I ain't gonna lie, I can't say it like that. Now, you know me, I, I'm usually with you, when, especially when it comes to like the women stuff, but. I, I can't rock out like that because just because let's say you you go. I'm not out saying you don't love the kids. I'm just saying you can't you you you're okay. Let me put it this way then. Maybe you just don't put them first. How about that? So listen, if I walk into a club, you mean to tell me everybody in the club should be have no kids? Yes. The 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 the, the club should be kidless. Yep. You say what? So that's what I'm saying. By y'all logic, if anybody got kids, they don't deserve to do nothing else. No clue. Oh, no. I'm not saying you can't go no, somewhere. I'm to I'm, no, I was talking about I was talking about a um a single parent home or not wanting to be with somebody. Like we're talking about um uh DDG and Holly, right? But yes. I'm saying most of the time, most of the time the girls that I know, they always I always hear, well, I wasn't happy or I wasn't this. And it's never about I've never heard, I swear to goodness, I've never heard a woman say that I know in passing or anything, oh, you know, well, it, you know, it, my child wasn't happy. 
It was always mm. me, 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 me. That's yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, after after I had a kid, I didn't I never wanted to be in no fucking club, bro. I don't want I don't want to be in no club. Fuck a club. <laughs> The club, okay, do you want to party? the club was dead to me after, okay. after yeah, bro. Yeah, 